Hi there, welcome to my channel. Today I have a video showing you how I paint loose and expressive peonies. Peonies are some of my favorite flowers and of course it's going to be pink because I, I love painting pink flowers. Um, Peonies are kind of difficult because they have so many layers and uh, oftentimes I get to hear from people asking um, how to get those layers. So if you're doing a photorealistic painting, yes, that is something that you really have to concentrate and put a good drawing in place first. But the way I paint, is, um, as you must have noticed, it's loose and expressive. I would like to put down a feeling which makes the viewer feel that, oh wow, that, that looks like a peony. So it might not necessarily be photorealistic, it might not necessarily look like a peony per se, but if you stand at a distance and you look at the flower, because, uh, because of those uh, yellow stamens inside, or because of the way it looks so light and airy and vibrant, um, it makes it look like a peony. So. This is just one more way of uh, painting floral, uh, floral art, doing floral art. And uh, if this is something that resonates with you, do give this one a try. And uh, I have tried to keep this video as close to real time as possible. Um, it's not a time lapse in uh, no sense is it a time lapse. It's just that I have edited some parts which were just like me washing a brush or something uh, which was taking too much time but for the most part this is how long it took to create this painting okay to begin i have used watercolor paper by arches it's 140 pound cold press watercolor paper it's slightly textured and i really like that for my floral art and the brush is a da vinci mop brush the reason i use this brush for my floral paintings is because it, it has a nice the squirrel mop it holds a lot of water and which automatically makes your stroke uh, fade out if you understand if you watch me doing it you'll understand this better so it, it just makes it fade out and that really helps when you're trying to do um, a floral where you want the outer edges to be nice and light and faded out Apart from that, it's just um, a paint, uh, my paints. The paints are a mix. I have a mix of paints in, in that um, palette there. And um, they're all professional grade pair watercolor paints. And of course, a tub of water and a tissue. So let's get straight to it. So as you can see, I have begun to paint and uh, the way I'm approaching this painting is uh, although it's a, it's a wet on dry, that is my wet brush on dry paper. So there are two different techniques, wet on wet and wet on dry. Wet on dry would be where your paper is dry and your brush is wet. So it would be a wet brush to dry paper. And then there is wet on wet where your paper is also wet and your brush is also wet so in the sense uh, you would be taking a wet brush loaded with pigment to a wet paper which makes the pigment just flow and uh, uh, cut, you know, take charge and there's a lot of movement and it's unpredictable and now that is something that i really love and that is how i usually paint but for this particular painting I decided to do a slight variation, it's still wet on wet, but I'm first drawing the, the entire flower with just water and then I'm taking my pigment and dropping it into the water so it's still technically wet on wet. Does that make sense? Okay, so the reason I did this was for, since this is a kind of a tutorial, I wanted people to follow along. Now if I had made my paper wet and if I had taken my wet brush to it, yes, I would have been able to manage it because I have been practicing this for many, many years. But if you are a beginner and if you're new to it, the minute you touch your brush loaded with pigment to wet paper, your pigment just spreads. Now, that is something that some people might really love it and they might adjust to it and they might just go for it and make a good painting out of it. But there are others who might have been intimidated by it. Hence, 
I tried out this technique and I felt perhaps this might be something that most of you all could, would be able to follow along. So so the way this whole thing the whole paint this whole painting has been done is I'm taking my brush dipping it in water drawing a flower just a few strokes see see strokes and then taking same brush dipping it in pigment and going back and dropping it into the watered area on the paper so now that gives me enough time to go back and then add an another layer per se although it's not dry usually layers are you just wait for your first layer to dry and then you go that is how you work in layers but if you're working in the wet on wet technique you take advantage and you try to mix your colors on paper so that they look still look fresh they won't get muddy so draw your flower first with water then drop your pigment then then go back in and drop a little darker value that spreads on its own and gives it that beautiful bloom the bloom look that we are aiming for with the peony so that's what you are seeing me do with all of this and um, i'll be back a little bit to talk a little bit about the uh, the leaves so here you started to see me work uh, on the leaves and um, the leaves are uh, sim the same thing that i have shown you in my earlier video if you have not watched that video on leaves i'll leave a link below and uh, you can see how i use the belly of the brush to make the shape and that gives a nice smooth even shape rather than a jagged shape and um, that that's what you see here and for the most part i try to mix my colors on papers and that's what i'm doing even here so i usually take a, a light green or i try to just take simple yellow and then i pick up a little bit of blue an ultramarine blue would be a good choice and i go back and i drop the blue into the yellow automatically it creates a green there and then i go back again and add a darker value maybe just a little bit of more blue or indigo or um, even sometimes paints gray these are wonderful choices to put uh, to add shadows to your leaves and uh, that is what you will be seeing me do uh, all over the painting when it comes to the leaves i try to add as much variety as i can because that's how it is in nature and uh, sometimes it's all bright and uh, yellow the sun is hitting it and perhaps it's been washed out and then there are some parts which are like deep dark and um, sometimes there are the evergreens which are casting a they might be in the background so think about it from those in those terms go out take some pictures and see how what greens are available out there and then come back in and try to make make those uh, colors try to re recreate those colors in your painting and um, yeah so that's all there was to this whole peony painting that i thought it was a viewer request and i thought it was better soon i should do this because i have already received quite a few dms from them and uh, so that's what i've been trying wanting to share with this one i really hope you like it and will definitely give it a try so at this point i'm trying to make it a little more loose and expressive and i'm trying to create um, a bit of lost and found edges to my leaves at the same time and I'm, I'm trying to maintain uh, the shape of the leaves so the way i do that is i use a spray bottle and it's just filled with water and i spray it and i let it soak in and uh, that makes the whole area a little bit hazier and i don't touch it um, much and i just let it be and um, that gives it a slightly subdued softer look but at the same time a part of the leaves are still sharp and in focus so the way you can look at it is in a photograph you have a bouquet or you're trying to keep some in focus and some out of focus and that is what we're trying to achieve here with the with the with the paints and brushes
so there we go that's my peony painting i really hope you enjoyed it and will definitely give it a try and if you have any comments do let me know and if you have any suggestions for my next video please do let me know in the comments and i'll try my best to make it happen and uh, thank you so much for joining and for all those who, few who have new to this channel please do consider subscribing and um, see you soon in my next video bye bye now